Are you staying here for that? Yeah, I said no side road. I'm just put it on and load up. All right, good luck. Top of the morning to you fellers and gals too, if y'all watching. Um, morning number one in Oklahoma. We are hunting with my buddy Shane from Habitat Solutions and uh, hunting ground that he has access to. He uh, builds duck ponds, duck impoundments, and that kind of thing. So he's got some property. Just kicked dad off at a spot that he's got like a, some oats and wheat and stuff planted. And he's going to go climb over it. It's kind of a just winging it this morning because we hadn't had time to really get our feet up under us yet. Got in yesterday evening. But uh, I'm going to go down here to a spot. Like I said, he builds duck impoundments. So he's got a lot of like canals and waterways and whatever. So we got a spot down here that the deer kind of choke down. Uh, to where they got like a crossing across these canals and stuff and they taking path the least resistance we're gonna try to capitalize on that it's november 7th so should be in the heat of things i'm gonna kill big bucks real big gonna try to get in this gnarly little thing to about right in there won't be able to get real high i think that crossing is right in here somewhere you can't tell because of the cattails, you can't see over them, and you can't walk around there to look because of the ditch. Welcome to a tree in Oklahoma. It's uh, just now official sunrise, and uh, we're just getting situated. It's our first morning, a little, running a little behind, got to get everything situated, but in a little bitty flipping tree. I, mean, I don't know if you can see how big this tree is. I almost fit my fingers around it, but little scrubby trees along this uh, ditch here. Got into it. Honestly, not near as much of an issue getting into as I thought it was going to be. We uh, got us a spot to shoot to this culvert crossing that we hope is going to be funneling these deer across this ditch. We're sitting right on top of the ditch. We're probably about yeah, four, 14 feet up maybe. I uh, got really good cover because we're in one of these little pin oak trees that's just thick. Got a bunch of limbs. But uh, we can shoot to the culvert crossings 40 yards and the road that runs on the other side of the ditch just comes right by us here. So Ever since we got here we've had a deer blowing at us right there. We got up the tree and got situated and she just, or it just flew two more times. I don't know if it's a doe, it could be a 280 inch double drop time, I don't know. But it's a deer, but hopefully it'll go on about its business and leave us alone and we can sit this culvert crossing along this ditch here for the next couple of hours and see something. Some deer would cross on the north end, but we thought the majority of them would cross on this end, so we kind of risk it, come down the ditch, and our wind is blowing across the north end, and it appears. 
got a lot more deer working this block of timber and crossing around that north end. Uh, and I think they're starting to catch my wind because the wind's just now starting to pick up well enough to carry my scent anywhere. But had a bunch of does got around and got down here. One of them blew and took a whole herd of deer with him and looked like he had one pretty good buck with him. I mean, he was outside his ears and deep chocolate horns and just like a big, big deer. Um, just had a small buck go across that little pond dike over there right where they were. And I just got three or four deer running back to the left right here. I'm betting they're, I'm betting they're cutting that north side and they're catching some of my wind and taking off. So, it was a guess. It looks like we guessed wrong. We've seen a bunch of deer though. I don't know how many deer we've seen. It's been a bunch. it is about time just changed so it's got everything a little bit weird 845 so it'd be typically be 945 uh, the movement's kind of slowed up slown slowed down slown down slown I don't know if slown's a word but slowed it has slowed down um, I don't know how long we're going to hang in here today because I know we want to go to another piece of ground and uh, not an unfamiliar piece of ground but uh, somewhat unknown and we wanted to do a little looking on it today and uh, so I don't know how much time we're going to spend in the tree today I need to send out See what time everybody wants to get down, but uh, I don't know how many deer we saw today. A pile, seen a bunch of deer. Uh, only one I could have shot was the young eight pointer, even though he was beautiful. Laid out really wide, decent tine, chocolate horns, just a pretty deer. But he was uh, young and thin. That's the only deer we could have killed at all the ones we saw, even though most of them are right here in bow range. They just come to this, through this timber and I can't shoot anything unless it's like 10 yards and most of them are about 30 to 35 yards. So anyways, um, yeah, that's an update.
10 o'clock, which is typically 11 o'clock. With this time change, no wait, yeah, yeah, got it right. Um, and I think I'm fixing to climb down, even though it wasn't 20 minutes ago that I saw those three bucks chase that doe through here. It seems kind of like the wrong thing to do, but um, it's one of those days you could sit here all day and probably see deer. And while that's tempting, we got this other piece of ground that we really want to go put our feet on and go look at. It's kind of somewhat, somewhat virgin ground. We got a pile of cameras with us. Um, and we just kind of want to look at the other ground to see what it has to offer. And as fun as it is up here sitting near seeing these deer, we just don't know what what we could be missing, you know. Sometimes it's not always better around the next bend, but man, I sure like looking around that next bend. All that being said, I probably should have just shot that deer <laughs> that walked right here across the culvert that we set up for deer to walk across. Hadn't seen hardly any deer walk across that thing all morning. Then we had two little spikers come out right here. I was hoping one of those was a doe because I was going to shoot it, but it was most of two spikes. And we had a little basket rack come across the culvert. That's the first deer we've seen come across the culvert all day. Then I looked up there and saw a doe coming out of the timber. Saw her way back there and I looked at her through glasses and I thought, nice fat doe. I hope she comes through here. Well, she did and she came across the culvert, which is 40 which is very comfortable, but she was really on edge. Um, last thing I want to do is make a questionable shot on a doe. Um, so I was hoping she was going to walk up this road here at 22, 24, but she didn't. So luckily I didn't shoot her because there was three bucks following her. Um, and I'm pretty sure it was the deer that I watched go across the pond dike over here earlier this morning. The frame set up the same, but it was an older deer and it he probably needed an arrow. I sent Shane a clip of him and he says, man, that deer, that deer needed an arrow. And I said, yeah. I was kind of thinking the same thing, but uh, morning number one. And anyway, to say all that to say, I think I'm going to pack this stuff up and head down so we can go look at that other property. Maybe back over here on this side. Uh, a little bit later. I don't know. We'll see how the, how the day goes. Hey, we appreciate you guys joining us for this video. If you like this one, you'll probably like the next one. I'll leave it up here in the corner. Don't forget to subscribe and follow along with us. We'll leave our social media links down at the description below. That's also where you'll be able to find links on the turkey calls we use and the apparel we wear and that kind of stuff. So you can find that in that little drop-down description below. And uh, as always, we sure appreciate you guys following along.